our English class is begin. Good morning, every member. Thank you for your applause. Today, I will talk about how to follow trends and funds to trade. My name is Jersey Dean. So I hope you can learn some good method from today's course. So let's see the main contents. Firstly, uh, I will show you how to analyze monthly chart, weekly chart, and daily chart for STI index. So the first main point is regarding grasp the market primary trend by chain expert. It's simple function and it's, you can analyze the market simply, okay? So monthly chart. Monthly chart can reflect thinking patterns of market operation. Weekly chart can reflect the strength of market quotation and the daily chart can distinguish buy and sell position. So if you want to know what's the mark chart pattern of the market, you can use the monthly chart. And uh, is the, mar uh, the market strong or not, you can use weekly chart. And uh, if you want to judge the buy and the sell point, you'd better use daily chart to analyze. So this is the monthly chart and weekly chart and daily chart can help us to do something. Firstly, let's see this one. The highest goer for bull stock. This is for monthly chart of STI index, or this is not STI index. So monthly red candle means the thinking pattern of market operation in the bull market. Short term, uh, trade after go up, care job. Long term, buy low and hold stock. What's that meaning? Let's see the market first. Firstly, let's see the STI index. Then we can click monthly chart. This is the monthly chart. If we use monthly chart, we just click expert, eight experts, and chain expert. So what's that meaning? What can tell you from this chart? If you see the green turn to the red candlestick, this is you. This one means you should change your mind. It's not for a bear market anymore. So if you see green turn to the red candlestick, you can prepare to get in. And the green turn to the red turn to the green means you also need to change your mind, change your thinking because the trend will change. Okay. So let's see this one. Green turn to the red means you can buy for monthly. Monthly is good. Then green, red turn to green means for the monthly chart, you'd better sell first. Okay. So for short term, if we confirm now the market is a uh, red candlestick, for short term, we can trace after go up here drop. For long term, we can buy low and uh, hold start. So let's see the market first. First, we can see the market from green to red. The time is 2016, then uh, April 29th. So if you know this is green turn to the red, you should know for monthly, it's the good chance to buy. From here, then if you see the red candlestick means the market is still can hold stocks you no need to sell. So from this point, the low point is 2783. Now it's already three, uh, three to 31. So now if you have some stocks, you should know for the monthly chart, the trend is also good, okay? So you can catch some short opportunity to buy low and keep your stocks. So this is the monthly chart. Okay, then we can see next one. The highest goal for bird stocks. If you see the monthly green candle, thinking pattern of market operation in the bear market, for short term, buy low, sell high. For long term, wait and see. Okay, so we can see here. Green, red candlestick, turn to the green candlestick. Green candlestick means the trend is not good. So we'd better sell our stocks 
or buy low, sell high. But for long term, with better wait and see. So if you see this is the green candlestick, which means you can buy low, sell high for short term, and wait and see for long term. So we can see here, this is the date is 2015. Then on uh, 13th June. So this is the sell point. If you see the green candlestick, you'd better wait and see for long term and uh, buy, uh, buy low sell high for short term. So this is the market. So for weekly chart, the, for monthly chart, the trend is also good. So let's see the next one. Then just now we learned the monthly chart. Then we can check the weekly chart. For the weekly chart, we can see here, the trend is still up and the candlestick is red candlestick or green candlestick. Green candlestick. Green candlestick, so which means there will have some short term correction. Okay, so we can see here, green turn to the red, short term rebound. Then green, red turn to green, for short term you better wait and see. And the green turn to the red again, you can buy again, because this is the chance to catch some good profit. Then here, red turn to green again. So for short term, you'd, you'd matter uh, pay more attention to the correction, okay? So this is the weekly chart. Then let's see the daily chart. For the daily chart, up or down? Just now I already told you, if you want to judge the chart pattern, you can use monthly chart. But for the weekly chart, can help you to judge the trend. If you want to buy and sell, you'd better use daily chart. So for daily chart, uptrend or downtrend? Green candle or red candlestick? Green. So when to sell? When is the good sell point? Red turn to green, you'd better sell around here. Then you can avoid some short -term risk, okay? So this is for the monthly chart. If you confirm, monthly is good, weekly is good. For the daily, if the is also good, you can buy some opportunity. Now let's click this one, period comparison. We can use a uh, window three. Then we can click main chart. You also can use your software to check where uh, to use the chain expert to judge because there are some things, some problems. Okay, that's all. So let's see the next content. The core of chain expert. Because today I will show you how to catch the how to uh, follow the chain and the funds to trade. So firstly, let's see the trend. The trend is important. The core of trend expert research trends, which is the core of technical analysis. Because we know we all we most of us use technical analysis to trade our stocks. So if you want to use technical analysis, you should know research trends is the important. So make big money according to the primary trend. What's the primary trend? This main line can help us to judge the primary trend. Then make small money according to the secondary trend. Secondary trend means the assistant lines. Then for the short term trend, you can use dog candlestick for short term trend. No trend, no money. So if you don't follow any trends, you cannot make profit, okay? So let's see the composition of trend expert. The main line, Dow candle and assistant lines. Okay, so let's see the trend expert. This is the trend expert. We can see the main line. This is the main line, can show us the primary trend. The six assistant lines. This is the buy and sell assistant lines. 
Then dull candlestick, green and red candlestick is the dull candlestick which can judge the buy and the sell point. Then we can see the next one, main line. If you see the main line is purple and the main line is up, this is the uptrend, primary trend is uptrend, okay? So we can see here, if you see the purple line, the main line is up, this is the uptrend. Main line is down, this is the downtrend, okay? So this is the primary trend. Let's see some stock, let's see the market first. For the primary trend, uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend, because the main line is still up, okay? So let's see some individual stocks. Because recently there are so many high volume stocks and active stocks, we can fo we can every day we can focus on these stocks. <laughs> okay, then right click volume. The first one is this stock. So let's see this stock for the primary trend. Uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend. Okay, so we know that the trend is uptrend. Then if you confirm the primary trend is uptrend, you can catch some. Last time, uh, just now I already show you. If you want to judge the primary trend, you just focus on the main line. This is the trend analysis. And if you want to see when to buy, when to sell, you just see the dull candlestick and the assistant lines, okay? So firstly, let's see the primary trend. The trend is uptrend. So let's see the next one. This trend is uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend, okay? Primary trend is uptrend. But where is the good buy point? Later I will show you, okay? So this start, uptrend or downtrend? If you see the main line is almost flat, this is the sideways because there's no trends. Not the uptrend and the downtrend, only the sideways. Okay, so this trend is uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend. And this one also uptrend. Okay. So this one also uptrend. Then if you know how to catch this primary trend and uh, how to catch the buy and the sell point, you can buy this stock. Because this stock, we most investors, most members bought this stock because our master taught you some practical method to catch these stocks. I don't know whether you can remember or not. Okay, I repeat our master's, uh, this method. Then I think you can understand better because someone cannot understand Chinese, so don't know how to use this method. <coughs> Firstly, let's see this method, how to catch this good opportunity. Okay, firstly, we should confirm. Click this one, then let's move to here. If you see the, let's see the change. If you see the change is above 5% is between 5% and 80%. So the rising change, okay, from 5% to 80%. If above 80%, we'd not, we'd better not buy, okay? This is the price, the rising change. The next one is for the volume. Volume is above 20. What's above 20? We can see this is the parameter. Can we see this clearly? If you see the volume is above 80, which means it's good. So if you see the two conditions are satisfied, then you can know if tomorrow, if tomorrow open high, you can buy for short term, okay, only for short term. So we can see this one. Let's see this candlestick. The rising, the change is below five. Can focus or not? Cannot, 
okay? Then this one we can see the change because we can know the rising <coughs> change according to this method. So let's see the change is already 20%, okay or not? No, because above 80, so we'd better wait and see. Okay, then we can see next one. This one, let's see this one. The rising, the change is, let's see the change. 10% right. Okay or not? Okay, then let's check the volume. The volume is around here, above 20, right? Because I move the volume here, this is the parameter, the number. So above 20, certified or not? Yes. Then tomorrow, if open high, we can buy. Okay, so open high or not? How to confirm open high? If you see the open price higher than the yesterday closing price, this is the open high. So here, buy or not? You can buy at open price because open high, then if you confirm open high, no need to care about the closing price. Just uh, see this candlestick, can buy or not? Are you there to buy? Will you buy or not? You can buy, okay? Don't be careful, just uh, buy, okay? Because the buy price, open price is 0 0.033. The closing price is 0 0.039, okay? You buy, then you can. Here is the buy price is around 0 0.033. Now it's 0 0.04. You earn money or not? Only three days, you can earn some short-term profit. But if you follow this method, do you have any risk or not? Yes. But how to set stop loss point? If you see the price fall below 5% stop loss, okay? So this is the method. Then if you use this master method, you can catch these stocks. Then let's see another one. Let's see this candlestick. We can see the change. The change is 6.452%, okay, above 5%. Then let's check the volume. Volume, okay or not? 16, no, not above 20. We see this day. The rise, the change is 12% below 80%, above 5%, okay or not? Yes, okay. Then we can check the volume above 20. Then we know we can start to pay attention. But whether can go in tomorrow or not, we should see whether open high or not. Tomorrow, buy or not? Not open high, how to check? Because the open price is lower than yesterday's closing price. So we'd better wait and see, not get buy, okay? Buy or not, still cannot. So if you buy, you will lose much money, okay? So you should know this method. So you can check this method. You can use this method to check your stocks. So let's see this one. The change is 10%. Volume is above 20, right? So, okay or not? Yes. Tomorrow, buy or not? Why you say yes? Open high or not? Let's see the open price. The open price is 0 0.115. Closing price is 0 0.115. Not open high. Because the same price. So you should know. This is the same price. Not open high, buy or not? Wait and see, give up, okay? So if you buy, you will lose some much, lose some money because if you buy here, you cannot make some profit. So you should confirm whether it's open high or not. How to confirm the op op uh, open high? Closing, the open price is more than yesterday's closing price. This is the open high, okay? If the same, cannot. 
So let's see the next. Uh, let's see this stock because yesterday this stock sharply uh, this Wednesday, uh, Thursday the price sharply up. Okay, so let's see this one. The change is only one percent. Okay or not? No. Next day, the change is two percent. Still not good. So let's see this one. One percent. This one, five percent, right? Five percent. Okay, above five percent. The volume is above twenty. Okay, can pay attention. Whether have some short term profit or not. Tomorrow, open high or not? Not yet. Buy or cannot. With better, wait and see. So this is the master's method because I want I just review it because somebody cannot understand. Then I can uh, give you some explanation in English. Okay, so. I give you more examples. Maybe uh, can let you understand better. So let's see this stock. We can see this one already above eighty percent, right? So wait and see. So let's see next one. So let's see this one. The change is already fifty percent. So this one give up. Okay, then this one we already taught. So let's see this one. The change is already twenty five. Wait and see because this one is a little dangerous. Okay, so let's see this can this one situation is not come. So this mass this is the method. Okay, so let's see this one. The change is four percent. Wait and see. Only one percent. So if you see this, uh, there are some uh. So this is the the stock is penny stock or just a big cap stock because the price is high. Then if you see the change is above five percent, it's a little difficult. Okay, because the this stock is but this method is not suitable for blue chips. How to say? Because the five percent to eighty percent. If the blue chips need to above five percent, it's difficult. Okay. So this method, you, uh, you, if you, I'll just give you some explanation. Okay. So this is the main line. Let's see this one. This is the chain expert. The length of rising range. So if we see the candlestick is larger, which means the rising strength. Is good. The power is strong. Okay, but if from larger to sh from become shorter and shorter, which means the rising power is not enough. Okay, so the color, the color can show the direction of ups and downs because this one not show you the price, just to show you the price the direction. Okay, so if you see the red candlestick, means the direction is up. The chain is up, okay. So if you see the green candlestick, okay, the green candlestick means the down trend. Then if you see the candlestick is larger and larger, means the drop, means the falling power is strong, okay. So let's see this one. This is the candlestick, only a line, right? This is the candlestick. Then you can see the power from this one. To this one, the candlestick is shorter, so which means the rising power is not enough. The price may go down. Okay, then we can see here. 
This is the rising, this is the candlestick. The candlestick is shorter than this one, which means the drop falling power is not enough. So maybe we should know the price will go up. Okay, so this is the candlestick. Then let's see this one, the four, the two points. The trend expert, easy to identify the trend according to the color. Only check the color. The divergence and the concentration of the assistant lights are important. So assistant lights can help us to judge the buy and sell point. Okay, so let's see the C point. What chain expert can do for investors? Firstly, follow trends by color. If you red, see the candlestick is red, the chain is up. The candlestick is green, the chain is down. The second one, show strength by assistant lights. Okay, the large scale in the main line control position by pattern. Then this is important. Four ways of buying through chain expert. Okay, four buy points. How to use chain expert to catch the four buy points? Okay, so let's see the first one. Take tentative opposite, uh, opposition. Buy point in the weak rebound. Then open position, buy point in the strong rebound. Increase your position, buy point once upward cross main line. And the last one, catch rebound, buy point after correction. So if you use chain expert, you should grasp the four ways of buying, okay? So I will show you the details. The first one, buy point in the weak rebound. What's that meaning? In the weak rebound means the main line is down because the primary chain is down chain. Assistant line is also down, okay? Then if you see the red green candlestick turn to the red candlestick, this is the buy point. But this buy point in the weak rebound, you buy more or less. You buy small position because the chain is still down and the rebound is weak. So this is the first buy point in the weak rebound. You should catch small position. The second one, buy point in the strong rebound. What's the strong rebound and how to confirm? This is the strong rebound, not weak rebound. Okay, so let's see this one. The chain is, primary chain is still down trend. Okay, then we should use assistant lights to judge. If you see the green turn to the red candlestick and the three, above three assistant lights turn to purple, this is the strong rebound, okay? You can buy, you can in add some position. This is the buy point in the strong rebound. Then the third point. Buy point once upward across the main line. What's the upward across the main line? Firstly, the main line from down to flat, or from down then up. The candlestick upward break out, upward close the main line. So this is, you can increase your position, okay? The third buy point, okay? So here, you open position. So here you increase your position, okay? The last one, buy point after correction. What's the buy point after correction? Okay, so let's see this one. Green turn to the red candlestick. So we can see green turn to the red. You can consider to buy because the chain is up chain. The primary chain is up chain. So you can buy, then hold your stock. Okay, so this is the buy point after correction. Which buy, which point is safe, is the safest? This one. Okay, which one is the uh, more have more risk has has more risk? The first one. Okay, then if you know this method, then I show you how to. We should practice. Let's see the index first. This is the Dow Jones index. Okay, so let's see the Dow Jones index. Where is the buy point and the sell point? So okay, just for buy point. Here, 
combine or not. This is the red candlestick that maybe you cannot see clearly, but for me, I can see. This is the red candlestick. A sixth place turn to purple above three, at least three assistant lights turn to purple. So this is strong rebound or weak rebound. Strong rebound. Because assistant lights, at least assistant lights turn to purple. So this is the strong rebound, not weak rebound. Okay, so you buy. When is the, when can you, when we can increase our position? Candlestick, upward cross the main line, and the main line is up. So this is, we can increase our position. When can add more position? Green, the chain is up chain or down chain for primary chain, up chain. Green turn to the purple, we can add more position than we hold, okay? So this is the Dow Jones index. So for Dow Jones index, strong or not? Still strong, right? So let's see the STI index. For the primary Chinese option, when can we do some short term rebound? Green turn to the red candlestick. But now it's still green. We can buy or not. We'd better wait and see. And if you want to buy, you should find strong stocks, not brooches. Okay. So let's see the Kurumpa index. So for the Malaysia market, good or not? For the chain is still good. You still can hold. Primary chain is up. The candlestick is red candlestick, so you can hold. Then let's see the Hong Kong index. Hong Kong index, good or not? Primary chain is good, but for shorter, green candlestick, what's that meaning? For the short term downturn, when can we get in? When can we go in? Green turn to the red candlestick. Okay, so this is the index. Then we can see some individual stocks. So let's see this one, when to buy, when to sell, okay. Then we can see this period. This one, green trend, firstly we can see the primary trend is up trend or down trend. Down trend. And you buy more or buy less? Less, okay. Then green turn to the red candlestick. Assistant lights, at least assistant lights turn to purple. Buy or not? Buy, but not full position, okay? So only one third or one, third, one third or one fourth position. Okay, then buy. When can add position? No chance to add position, okay? So here, sell or not? You should sell quickly. Then we wait and see. Green turn to the red again. Weak rebound or strong rebound? Strong or weak? Let's check by the assistant lights. One, two. Only two assistant lights turn to purple, not three. Buy or not? The, this is one we can buy, but this one is for weak rebound. Strong rebound. From weak rebound to strong rebound, add position or not. You can open some position again. Then sell or not. Just uh, keep it. What should we do now? Increase some position, okay? Then from down trend to up trend, green to red. Buy or not? This is not a buy point. This is the increase point. Okay, so you should know where is the first buy point. Here is the first buy point. Now you add some position. Now you earn the money or not? Yes, you made. You already made some profit. If it's easy to follow some rules when you make some profit, but if you lose money, here if even if the buy point appears. You are not buy, 
okay, because you lose money. So we can buy here, sell or not, sell. Then this is the method, okay. So let's see the next one. Let's see this stock, Nikko Steel. Firstly, we can see the primary trend is uptrend or downtrend. Downtrend. Green turn to the red candlestick. What should we do now? Buy. But we know this is the weak rebound. Okay. So here we buy some position. And increase your add some position or not? Yes. yes. Because already at least a system size turn to purple. Then wait and see. Here, can we increase some position? Yes. Then we hold. So here we start to buy 0 0.006. Now it's 0 0.011. You can earn around double profit, I think. Okay. But this is small stock, penny stock. If you hold some penny stock, you should sell quickly. Cannot keep for a long time. Because if you want to let your investment accuracy is high, you should know. Invest some blue chips for catching for short for long term and uh, get some dividend. And small, buy some sh uh, penny stock to earn some short term profit. Okay, you should separate your money. Then we can see next one. Let's see this start. Firstly, the primary chain is down chain. Green turn to the red candlestick can be buy or not. This is buy small position. But you should know the chain is still down. Now it's weak rebound. Here, can we add some position or not? Yes, because at least the assistant lies, three assistant lies turn to purple. Then we buy here, add position or not. You can add, increase your position. Sell. So here if you buy, here you sell, you can earn small profit, only small, okay? Then here, can we buy again or not? Yes. Because green turned to the red, at least the three assistant lines turned to purple. This is weak rebound or strong rebound. Strong rebound, okay? Then we buy. We just hold and see. So here is the buy point, 0 0.029. Here you add some more position, 0 0.032. Now it's 0 0.04. You earn some short-term profit or not? Yes, you can earn profit. If you only follow one way, you also can make profit. So many investors said lose money, lost the money. So if you follow one way, follow this way, will you be trapped or not? You can earn some profit. No need to care about the profit is more or less. It's more or less, but you at least you make profit, right? So we can see this one. Here we buy or not? Yes. Here is the buy point. Now you hold 0 .011, 0 0.117. Now it's 0 0.117. A money or not? Cannot. But you should remember, here is the second buy, one buy point. Is the first buy point or not? No. Here is the first buy point. Right. So if you follow this method, here is the first buy point. Here you increase some position. Here, first buy point 0 0.069, you earn money or not. You can earn some, you can earn some profit, okay? So let's see the next one. Let's see the game team. Where is the first buy point? Here, right. Here is the first buy point. Here, increase position, increase your position. Increase your position. According to the your buy point around here, even if you increase position here, a money or not, still can earn some profit. Okay, so let's see this one. Here can we get in or not? Green, firstly the primary chain is downtrend. 
Green turned to the red candlestick, at least assist three assistant lights turned to purple. Buy point or not? Buy point, but only for rebound. If you see the green candlestick appears, you'd better sell quickly because it's only for rebound. So if you buy here, you sell here, you cannot make money, but you will lose, you also not lose much, okay? Then we wait and see, here buy or not? This is a weak rebound or strong rebound? Quite weak rebound, okay? So you know this is weak rebound. You can give up or you buy small position. Then we wait and see. From weak to rebound to strong rebound. Add position or not? Yes. Then from here you buy 0 0.004, now 0 0.006 you can earn some short-term profit, okay? So this is the method. Let's say this one. Here can we buy or not? Green turn to the red candlestick, you buy. Then here you can add more position. So here you first buy point 0 0.41, second buy point 0 0.41, now 0 0.445, okay? You can choose to sell because you already made money, okay? So this is the method. This is the four ways, but I hope you can remember the four ways of buying through Chain Expert. If you follow uh, 10 methods and you, follow, you only follow one method, which one has more, has more accuracy, higher accuracy? Follow 10 methods or one method. Just one method. Nobody knows. One. Because you follow 10 methods. Maybe this method tell you you can buy. Other methods tell you not to buy. The next the one tell you buy. The second, first one tell you not buy. How to choose? It's quite difficult to choose, right? To, to, to choose. I don't buy or not, buy or not. But if you follow one method, buy point, you just uh, follow it, okay? So I hope you can remember the four ways of buying through Chen, Chen Expert. The first one, take tentative opposition, buy point in the weak rebound. The second one, open position, buy point in the strong rebound. Increase position, buy point once, upward cross main line, and catch rebound, buy point after correction. So let's see the first one. Take tentative opposition, buy point in the weak rebound. What's the situation? Green, the primary chain, main line is green, it's down. And we can see the green can, dark candlestick turn to red dark candlestick. This is a buy point in the weak rebound. The second point, over, to over position, buy point in the strong rebound. What's the situation? What's the condition? Three, at least three assistant lights turn to purple. Okay, so you can open position. The third one, increase position. How to increase? Red candlestick upward cross the main line. Okay? So the last one, catch rebound. How to do that? If you see the primary chain is up chain, green chain to the red candlestick is the by point for catching <coughs> rebound. Okay? So remember the four ways. Okay? So let's see this one. Let's see this chart. Okay? So when to it will tell you when to take tentative position, open position, increase position, decrease your position. So first, let's see this one. Green turn to the red candlestick. Primary chain is down. Green turn to the red. You can take tentative position first. Here, green turn to the red. At least the three assistant lights turn to purple. Open your position. Then. Green, red turn to green, decrease your position or sell out. Here you'd better sell out because the chain is down chain. You'd better sell out, okay? Then here, increase your position. If you see the chain is up chain, the primary chain is up chain, 
the green left turn to green, you only decrease your position. Okay, no need to sell out. But for the downtrend, you'd better sell out. Okay, so here increase your position, then decrease your position, increase your position, decrease your position. If you follow this method, you can see you can make more money, lose small money. Okay, so this is the method, and I hope you can uh, catch this method. So this one is easy to understand, right? I already showed you the chance. The next one, I will tell you how to follow funds, okay? Big funds. Collect the chips at the bottom. So you should know for the big funds, what will they do? Firstly, collect chips at the bottom. Low point activation is higher and higher. While price is lower and lower, this is for the bottom deviation. So you should know, because you most of you are our members, you should know which method I will talk about, which futures division expert, okay? So profit taking. Firstly, collect the chips. Then you cannot keep for a long time. For big farms, they will take profit. Okay, so for the profit taking, high point of deviation expert is lower and lower, and the price is higher and higher. This is the top deviation, okay? So we know what's the bottom deviation or top deviation. I will show you some, some conditions. So let's see this one. For the bottom deviation, during 66 trading days for the bottom division. If the period is long, then the rising space will large, will high, okay, higher. So bottom division during 66 trading days. This is some, some uh, conditions of division. Let's see the ABC. For the A, if you see the price, continue to go up. But for the deviation expert, go down. Top deviation, right? So the first one belongs to top deviation. The second one, low point is lower, but the deviation expert, low point is higher. So this is the bottom deviation for the A level, okay? Because in the A level, B level, and C level, what's the difference you should know, okay? For the A level, top deviation and the bottom deviation, you should know the low po high point is higher, low, the high point is lower. Low point is lower, but this one, low point is higher. This is the A level deviation. For the B level deviation, what's the B level deviation? If you see the price, not higher, not higher and not lower, also the same, same point, same high point. But we can see this one, high point is lower. So this is also the top deviation. What's the difference between, what's the difference with the A level? Just the same price is higher or same, okay? So the next second one, the low point is the same and the low point is higher. This is the bottom deviation, okay? Also the bottom deviation. Then the last one for the C level. If you see the high point is higher, but the deviation expert high point is the same. This is also the top deviation. And the low point is lower for the price, but the low point is the same. This is the bottom deviation. So this is the whole deviation conditions, okay? So you should remember this chart. Okay, then maybe next time when you de judge the deviation, you should you can know that. <coughs> then we see next one for the deviation. Firstly, let's see the bottom deviation. Price is lower and lower while DE, DE means deviation expert, is higher and higher. Normally stronger upward movement will appear. Okay, so if you see the A level division appears, so which means the movement is higher, okay? So movement is maybe the 
price will go up. Then the next one, B, level bottom deviation. Double bottom while deviation expert is uptrend. So let's see the B level. B level is like this, double bottom under the deviation expert, okay? So the C level bottom deviation price hits a new low, while our deviation expert is double bottom, which means downtrend will continue. Downtrend will continue. So not all deviation, not all bottom deviation with the price will go up. Okay. So this one, if you see the price hits a new low. And the deviation expert is double bottom, which means the trend is still down trend. Okay. So let's see the deviation expert. On the premise of changeless fund supply, the increase of stock supply usually brings down the stock price, while the decrease of stock supply usually puts up the stock price in a similar way. On the premise of changeless stock supply, the increase of the supply of funds usually puts up the stock price, while the decrease of the supply of funds usually brings down the price. So this is the principle of deviation expert. We just uh, uh, review it. It's okay. Then we see the next one. For the application of deviation expert, momentum of stock rising for the funds. The red color means the money inflow more than money outflow. Green color means the money outflow more than money inflow. Up shadow, different tiers between money outflow and inflow and down shadow also the same, but you should know. Up shadow for the money inflow and out, uh, outflow and inflow. The downward shadow, money inflow and outflow. Okay, so let's see. We can click expert, then deviation expert. So we can come how to confirm the bank money, the money inflow or outflow. If you see the red column, red column means the money inflow, green column means the money outflow. Okay. Then we can see the shadow. Up shadow and down shadow. So if you see the shadow is up shadow, good or not? Not good. Down shadow is good, but up shadow is not good. Even if the money inflow, but you can see the shadow is upward shadow, is still not good. Okay? Can you understand? Like this. Here, okay or not? Yes, money red color. Money inflow. Shadow is downward shadow. Okay, this one is good. But for this one, money inflow or outflow? Inflow because the red color, but the shadow is down shadow or upward shadow. Upward shadow, good or not? No good. When to start to good? Here and here. Okay? So let's see the next one. So for this one, Moya, because this is recent uh, active stock and many investors bought this stock, right? Okay, but recently the chain is uptrend or downtrend. How to confirm? So we can see here, money inflow or outflow? Start to outflow, right? Because the red turn to the green. But we can see the shadow, downward shadow, up shadow, upward shadow, downward. So which means still okay. Then you wait and uh, see. But you should know here. <coughs> Money inflow or outflow continue to outflow, but the price up or down continue to go up. You should know the price up but the money outflow, good situation, good, good situation or not? Not good. Okay, and we can see the shadow from downward shadow to upward shadow, sell or not? Here, 
who will sell? Because now you need to make decision. Because just not uh, you learn some methods, but when you start to trading, then the methods are not are all not useful for you. Okay, so this one, sell or not? Who agree to sell? But next day, here sell. Next day, sell. Then. You sell high point or low point, quite high, right? But if you use other information, other fun features, other functions, sell point may be around here, okay? But you can sell here. Then we can see around here. Money inflow or outflow? Inflow, but the shadow, downward shadow, upward shadow. Downward, upward shadow, good or not? Not good, okay? Wait and see. So here, you can sell around here, you can avoid, or here also can. Then you can avoid some shorter retrace, okay? So let's see next one. This is the Singapore television. So let's see this one. Let's see this start because this is the blue chips. Okay, for this one, money inflow or outflow? Here, money inflow or outflow? Inflow. Because green turn to the red color, money inflow. Okay, then we can check the shadow. Upward shadow, downward shadow. Upward shadow, good or not? No. Then we can see here, still not good because the upward shadow, but here, from upward shadow to downward shadow, okay or not? Yes, you can pay attention, then go up again, right? So this method is important. So let's see Yang Zijiang. Here, we can see this one. For car because we don't know the future price, we just uh, see the current price. This is the current price. What should we do? Will you buy tomorrow or sell tomorrow? Sell. How do you know the sell point? Maybe you think, I know the future price go down, so I sell here. No, we just uh, see the deviation expert. Okay, first thing, let's judge. Money inflow or outflow? Inflow, but the shadow, upward shadow or downward shadow? Upward shadow, good or not? Not good. Green again, sell or not? Sell. Then if you sell, you can avoid some short-term risk, right? Okay, so if you use this method, usually sell at high because we all want to buy or sell high, right? So this one can help you to sell high. Then let's give more information. Let's see this one. Okay, this is the rebound, right? So let's see the deviation expert. Green turn to the red. Money inflow, right? Can buy or not? Now is the chance or not, according to the funds? No, because we can see the shadow, upward shadow, downward shadow. This is important for your confirmation, okay? So downward shadow or upward shadow? Upward shadow, okay or not? No. So if you buy here, you will be checked, okay? So we see here, buy or not? By chance or not? No. But here, whether this is the by chance. Firstly, we can see the money inflow or outflow. Inflow is easy to understand, right? If you see the red color, bank money inflow, green color, money outflow. Easy. This is the green column or red column. Red. 
then money inflow. The upward shadow, downward shadow, downward shadow. So this is the chance. Okay, so if you here catch this opportunity, here also can catch some good opportunity. Okay, so let's see this one global logistic sideways for a long time. How to confirm? Just now we learned the price continue to go up, but the deviation expert high point is continue to go down. Top deviation, bottom deviation. This is the top deviation, right? Okay, so let's check the. Now is the good buy point or not? So firstly, let's see this one. Money inflow or outflow? Out. Outflow because green column, right? Okay, and you better wait and see. <coughs> we can see this one. For this stock, firstly, let's check. Money inflow or outflow? Green or red? So outflow or inflow? Outflow. But we can check another one for the shadow. Upward shadow or downward shadow? Downward shadow. So sell or not? Which means you still can keep it. Okay? Keep or not? Just uh, keep it. Keep or not? Still can keep. Even if you see the money, in outflow. So if you use this uh, for, uh, functions to judge, you'd better check two important points. Okay, first one, red or green. Second one, the shadow. Okay, so this is important for us. So let's see the next one. The red and the green columns of deviation expert can reflect the increase and the decrease of money. And the broken lines can reflect the strength of the increase and decrease of money. We may relate the price performance and supply demand relationship of money according to the basic basic principle of market supply demand relation. And then we can evaluate and judge the market through their convergency and the division. Okay, so this is the important uh, important thing. Then we can see the next one for the money inflow or outflow. First, let's see this start. Money inflow, outflow, inflow, so good. And okay, then we can see just now we learned some situations of deviation. The low point is lower, but for the deviation expert, low point is lower or higher. Let's see this start. Okay, then we can see this one. Whether it is the top deviation or bottom deviation. So let's see this one. The low point is lower. The low point is lower or higher? Lower deviation or not? There's no deviation, okay? Because not every stock will appear the, the, the deviation, okay? So let's see this one. First, we can check. Green turn to the red color. Now from money inflow, money outflow to inflow. Okay, good or not? Yes, it's good because the shadow is good. So here, sell chance or not? No, because the shadow is still downward shadow. Even if the bank, the green color. We also need to wait and see, okay? You just uh, wait and uh, see. Sell or not? Wait, wait, and uh, wait, wait. But when can we start to sell? When can we start to sell? Green red, turn to the green color and shadow from upward sh from downward shadow to upward shadow you should know this is the sell opportunity okay so this method i hope you can remember okay just uh, easy to understand right firstly division 
Secondly, money inflow outflow. Thirdly, shadow, up shadow, upward shadow or downward shadow. Just check the uh, follow these three points. Okay. So let's see the next one. So for this start, okay or not? Still wait and see because the shadow is still up shadow, even if the money inflow. Okay. So let's see the next point. So we can see this start. Money outflow, okay? So here, money inflow. Maybe you can buy, okay? But here is the sale opportunity. You should know that. Okay, so let's see this start. Because this one is also active, but the uh, maybe the fundamental is not good. Okay, let's see this one. When to buy, when to sell. When is the buy opportunity or sell opportunity? Okay, so here, can we get in or not? You should know whether this is the buy chance or not. You tell me, because you already learned this method. I already taught you. When you start to trade, how can you do, how will you decide, make your decision? Here, buy opportunity or not? Why? Because of the shadow. Wait and the same. Okay? Still need to wait and the same. Here, by chance or not? No. Shadow is still up. Here. This is the by chance, okay? By chance. Sell or not? Here the by chance is around 0 0.028. The lowest point, the low point. Even if the, uh, I think it is the lowest point. Then, sell or not? Sell opportunity or not? No. Wait and see. When is the sell opportunity? Money outflow. <coughs> what should we do now? <coughs> Wait and see. Okay. When to sell? Not the sell point, just the sell opportunity. If you want to judge the buy and sell point, we'd better uh, uh, combine with the chain expert. But this one just show us the buy and sell opportunity. Okay, you should remember. So let's continue. The relation between price and funds. In the uptrend, the high point of the price is higher and higher, but the green column of D is deviation expert is lower and lower, which means the price and funds are deviation, the money may retrace, uh, the trend may retrace, okay? So let's see this one. The price is higher, money outflow. Then top deviation, price go down. How to confirm the top deviation? Price, he's create a new high. The high point of deviation expert is lower. So this is the top deviation, right? The top deviation, which means the sell opportunity, okay? So this is the method, which means you should know the price may go down, okay? So let's see the bottom deviation. In the downtrend, the low point of the price is lower and lower, but the green column is higher, which means the price and funds and deviation, the trend may reverse, okay? Like this. The price drop, money inflow, right? The high point is the low point of price is lower, and we can see the low point of deviation expert is higher. What's that meaning? You should know this is the bottom deviation. Okay, bottom deviation, which means the price may go up. Okay, so practical application of the time period of deviation expert. It is proved 
that the length of time of deviation equal to or less than length of time of correction. So let's see this one. The period of deviation indicates the space of ups and downs. What's that meaning? Space. The distance, the space. This is the deviation space, right? And this is the rising space is equal to or more than, okay? So equal to or less than. So this is one equal to the rising space, okay? Then how to follow chain and funds to trade? Firstly, the buy point. Buy point of chain expert appears. What's the buy point of chain expert? Four ways. I don't know whether you can remember or not, because maybe when you uh, attend some seminar, then maybe last minute, a uh, teacher taught you one method. Then, for, then when, when, you, when the class over is over, you forget everything, right? So I hope you can remember. So up, uh, after the, before the class end, I will review it, and I hope you can remember. So let's see the buy point of the chain expert appears. This is the first situation. The next one, money inflow. Add one more position. You should know what is the next position, next condition. Shadow. Okay? Shadow. So sell point. Sell point of the chain expert appears and the money outflow and the shadow is upward shadow okay so this is tell this one tells you how to follow chain and fund to trade so let's see this one when where is the buy point and the sell point okay so let's see this one green turn to the red candlestick buy or not but for short weak rebound or strong rebound weak or strong Confirm this is a strong rebound. At least the three assistant lights turn to purple, right? So this one for here, weak rebound. For here, strong rebound. Okay? Then we can see the money inflow outflow. Inflow. Shadow, upward shadow, downward shadow. Downward shadow, buy or not? Confirm to buy. Here, confirm to buy. Okay? Then let's see this one. When is the good buy point? So here, can we buy or not? <coughs> yes, also can. Around here? Yes. And uh, here? Buy or not? No. Okay. When is the good buy point? Here. You should remember. Okay, i give you some examples. Then let's check. So let's, let's test whether we grasp this method or not. Okay, so I click and start. Okay. Because here, it's difficult to get the A and Z because I want to. Right. Okay, we start from here. Can we buy around here or not? Why? For the chain expert, here is the buy point or not? Yes. yes. And uh, for the confirmation, okay or not? No. Buy or not? No. Where is the good buy point? Yes. Here. Right. So, just now, I already told, I already asked the one question. If you use 
10 methods and you, you only use one method, which one has the high accuracy? One, right? Okay, so now I use one or two. Two. So if we I use one, where is the good first by point? Around here. But I use second one. Here by or not? If you use these two combination, you can no need to care about the shadow. But if you only use division expert, shadow is important. Okay? Can you catch what I'm meaning? If you use if you use division expert only, then shadow is important. But if you use two conditions to combine, two future uh, two functions to combine, shadow is not important. Okay? So what's the difference between use one method and the ten methods? One method you should use it, you should know it uh, carefully, okay? You should know the whole details. But if you use two functions combined, the one function no need to use whole details, okay? So I think you can catch what I'm meaning, catch my meaning. Okay, so here, where is the good buy point? Here buy or not? Here is the buy point. <coughs> Red turn to green candle. Uh, red, green turn to red candle, and the money in flow. Okay, buy. So here buy or not? Still can buy. Okay. How about here? Buy or not? No. Why? Take mon the money outflow. So buy or not? No. Buy or not? Still cannot because money outflow. Okay, so you can use this method to judge any stocks you want. So let's see this one. Buy or not? Yes, but here, sell out. Okay, buy or not? For the chain expert by point, here can buy or not? We can rebound. You, if you are safe, if you are safe investor, we can rebound you sell, you buy or not? No, you can give up, but it depends on you, right? Because this is your investment. So wait and see here, buy or not? Buy. At least the three assistant assistant tries to prepare. This is strong rebound. So here you can buy. Okay. So this method is simple. We just remember how to follow chain and funds to trade. Buy point. Buy point of chain expert appears. Money inflow. Sell point. Sell point of chain expert appears. Money outflow. Okay? So, this is the this one. Buy or not? No. Here, you should sell for here. If you don't sell, around here you must sell. Red turn to green. Then here, money outflow. Sell. So here, Sell here is another sell point. If you know how to sell and you know you can sell quickly, you will not I think in our investment, we will not lose so much money. If you just follow, follow it, okay? So actually I, uh, actually the if you want to make money in the stocks, make small money is not difficult and I think it's easy. But it's depend, it's dep uh, it depends on your decision. So uh, review, uh, let's review it, today's course. Because today I taught you how to follow trend and funds to trade. So grasp the market primary trend by trend expert. Monthly chart can reflect thinking pattern of market operation. Weekly chart reflect the strength of market quotation and daily chart distinguished by the self position. So the next one. Monthly red candlestick of chain expert. Short term trades after go up, kill job. Long term buy low and hold stocks. Thinking pattern of market in the bull market. Then if you see the monthly green candlestick of chain expert, your 
you should know this is the bear market. You keep your thinking pattern, pattern of market operation in the bear market. For short term, buy low, sell high. For long term, wait and stay. Then this is the core, the research trends, which is the core of technical analysis. So make big money according to the primary trend. Small money according to the secondary trend. No trend and no money. So the composition of channels for main line, dark and dark is assistant lines. Primary trend, we just follow the main line. And the length of the rising stage and the, the color, the direction of ups and downs. So the easy to identify, this is the important thing, easy to identify the trend according to the color. The divergence of then the concentration of the system lines are important. So what trend expert can do for investors, follow trend by color, show strength of assist by a system lines, large scale in the line, and the control position by pattern. So four ways. This is the important thing you should remember in today's class. Four ways of buying through trend expert. Take a tentative position, buy point in the weak trend. Opposition, open position, buy point in the strong rebound. Increase position, buy point once. Upward cross main line, catch rebound, buy point after correction. So buy point in the weak rebound. And uh, buy point in the strong rebound. And uh, buy point once upward cross the main line. You should know the increase position, not the buy point. This is the increase position. Buy point after correction, <coughs> hold your stocks. <coughs> So this is the picture can show you everything, okay? So here, I think we should change to sell out because the downtrend, okay? Primary trend is downtrend, you'd better sell out your stocks, okay? So this is the for the trend expert, buy point and sell point. The next one we learned, the big fonts. I just uh, show you how, what's the important thing. This is the one we should remember, what's the A level, Division, B level division, and C level division. What's the difference? Okay, so this is a division for the bottom A level and B level and C level division. What's the difference? Then um, for the bank money inflow outflow for the division expert, you should remember two things. Firstly, the color of the color. The secondly, upward shadow or downward shadow. Okay, this is important. So if you only use division expert, this tool you should uh, pay attention. Okay, but if you use, but if you combine with another information, another function functions, no need to care about shadow. Okay, so this is the how to follow chain and funds to trade. So this is today's class, and I hope give you some note, okay, for all attendees. Simple learning and happy, and happy making money, okay? So you should know for learning is simple, not complicated, and making money, you can happy every day, okay? Thank you so much.